to stream for more the Yoko's Girl and as you can see I am inside of my house inside of my bedroom and that's because I am a first time chicken mama that's right in this cute little house right here are five of the cutest little chicks I have ever seen in my life and I am so excited to take this journey and take it along with you so this is my first chicken blog like I said I'm first time chicken mama so if you are new here welcome and if you are returning I am so glad to see you again let's show these babies to you let's get this going Okay, y'all, before we get started showing you the chickens, let me show you all the stuff that I have for them. Because like I said, I am a first time chicken mama, so I need all the help I can get. So please, if you see anything that I don't show that I absolutely need for these baby chickens, please put it down in the comments below. I am happy for all the advice that you all can give. So let me show you the first thing. We got this Hydro Hen. It's electrolytes. It's a three-in-one probiotic with electrolytes and acid fires, acid fillers. And I put that in their water. That was the first thing I got. This was the food that I bought, which was Nature's Best Organic Chick Starter Grower. So this is the food I'm feeding them. And then in a couple of weeks, I'm going to start them on grit when I start kind of introducing them to dandelions and grass. Um... So I got this Demore Grit. And then in a few more weeks after that, to train them to come to me, of course they're pretty friendly. I also got some of these um, Flock Party Millworms, as well as some enrichment toys. We'll see if we can get them to come out. Of course you can see their little hot plate. And then they've got a water and a feeder. This little one that just came out right here, we believe is, we won't know. And then the little red one that's coming out right now, that one right there this one right here that you see she is the most active of all of them and this is an Easter Egger she has a sister too that's up underneath peeking her head out and then the little yellow one right there with the black spot on its head and a little bit of black on its wings is our Brahma which I'm really excited about her and then I don't know if you can see her peeking her little head out that one right there the little orangey one to see her she is a buff Orrington I only have five five was all we need for the backyard and they're pretty active haven't had any problems yet of course I've only had them a day they're pretty friendly the one that's not friendly is the Patriot Patridge Partridge sorry the one that's not friendly is the partridge and she stays underneath that plate anytime I'm doing something but you can see these four are pretty friendly um, especially these these two on the end right here are real friendly and then the other little orangey yellow one over there she's kind of the feisty one she's kind of the bossy one of the group so we'll keep an eye on her um, she's kind of calmed down in the last 24 hours but when she first came in, her, her favorite thing was to grab everybody's toes and grab a hold of their legs and run off with them. But she's doing better today. You see that little fella? A little fella. That little girl looking up at us? That one right there? She is definitely the friendliest and the most adventurous. And this one we've already named Pearl. This little yellow one right here. And then the little red one that's the feisty one that went back underneath the hot plate. Uh, the boys have named her Ruby. The other three don't have names just yet. But we're working on it. We're watching personalities. That little one right there is the partridge cockwin. She's very shy. So if you all have chickens or you've raised chickens before and you have any helpful advice, again, please put it down in the comments. I appreciate all the advice I can get because I am a first time chicken mama. And I have to tell you, these guys are pretty cute and they've made it pretty exciting around the house. Even the dogs and cats are like chill around them. So we thought we were gonna have problems with them. And honestly, we're not having any problems with our other animals, which is a relief. <laughs> but we're gonna let them go back to sleep for now, guys. 
Okay y'all, now that I got everything zipped back up and let the chickens feel safe once again, I'm going to try and do a chicken vlog at least once a week so you can see just how much they grow because in a week's time they're probably going to be double this size and I think it's going to be interesting to take you guys on that journey with me and see the trials and tribulations that I go through and I'm probably going to have a lot of questions and I hope that you as my audience who've ha who have chickens will be willing to help me as I take this journey should I have any of those questions. But if you found some value in this little video today, please give us a like with a thumbs up. And again, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button because videos are posted often and I would hate for you to miss anything. Chickens aren't the only thing we do. If you're new here, we do also have a garden. <laughs> that we do garden tours and do a garden updates and how to's and how don'ts <laughs> you know we do it we do it all but until I see you in the next video y'all you keep growing and I'll see you then bye bye